Oh, come on, bro. Not my girl, bro. She's the one, bro. I know better. I'm Game Guy Ronnie. I know so much, bro, that I gotta work out my chest like five times a day, bro. You don't know nothing, bro. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. You wanna know what's really funny? The way guys cope with choosing the wrong one is that they start to... God, it is noisy out today when it rains. Good Lord. They talk about how they chose the one. And she's the one. She's your cool. This is how men cope in their little situation. And it's funny because the vast majority of guys in the West who do have girlfriends, wives, they cope hard, gentlemen. And the reason that they do this is because they know that the flip side of actually giving up is going to cost them. It's gonna cost them a lot. Sanity, time, energy, attention, money, it's a play on the MEAT acronym by Coach Greg Adams. Sanity, I think, is numero uno because they are going to take their pound of flesh that you kick them away so guys cope and she's the one. Oh, she's the only one. Oh, when in all reality, we've already gone over this on this channel, liberal relationships do not work. And the guys are actually the ones that won't just let it go. They will not let it go. You see it all the way from guys like KS, well, shout out to him, RIP to him, all the way to the dating coaches, dating coach Daniel. I will tell the women how to trick men to get the guy. That was an Australian accent. How come I always hit my Australian? It's funny, but a lot of these dating coaches are so phony. You can hear their actual accents aren't even real. They flip from British to English, uh, Auss Aussie. Anyway, it's just funny. Man. It's the little things, guys. They're excellent marketers. Though. But the vast majority of men in the West cannot handle letting go. They cannot let go of the fact that they chose wrong because they know it's going to cost them. The whole phrase, it's cheaper to keep her. That is a Western phrase. Yes, to all my new subscribers worldwide, this is what we're going through in the West. I got guys from India. I got guys from Belgium. I got guys from Argentina. Australia, the United Kingdom, it is out of control. Holy care, hey, hey uh, uh, legionnaires worldwide. This is a men, men's only space. I had one sub ask, hey, where's the women? Guys, we need a men's only space first. Can we just have a men's only space for just a moment to breathe? Can we just get one for just a moment? I'll bring in the women for interviews on a separate playlist and or a separate channel. Can we have a men's only space for just a moment where we don't get distracted by you know who? Because as soon as I enter them in, guys, I've had women contact me that want to be in my videos. Girls just approach me on the street and want to be in my videos. Gentlemen, we need a break from chicks in guys only spaces. Why can you not let this go? It's the same thing with you gentlemen who cannot just be alone and enjoy your freedom and your space and your sanity. Oh, I had my fun. That, that's a chick phrase. And you hear guys in the West talking like this. They're so ready to kowtow and be subservient because they just want reliable sexual relationships. That's what they really want, sexual relations on a reliable basis. When in all reality, they are paying the most out of all of us. They need to rationalize this by saying she's the only, she's, she's the one, she's a unicorn. It's a mythical creature. <laughs> but, wow, why is this household boarded up? This is really creepy. What the hell? Oh, anyway, this is it's a death house. Terrifying. <laughs> Ooh, haunted houses, man. Ooh. Anyway, guys cope hard in the West, and I get it. Not every guy is strong enough to be on his own. He gets lonely, he gets sad. No, it isn't. Wrong, son. You're that way because you're not on your purpose. You're over here scrolling. Down. The guys who say, my, not my girl, do you think these guys are on their purpose? 
do you think these guys are living their dreams? No, they are not. They took door number two. They took the easy option. They opted out. They gave up. Well, it's, well, well, that's what they start with. Well, you know, well, it's too hard. And then they peter on out. I feel sorry for these guys. No, I don't. They did it to themselves. Gentlemen, my legionnaires, she is not the one. You want to know why? You really want to know why? Because the environment doesn't support your decision. And that's why you need to rationalize it. You need to rationalize the pain instead of going to a... Why do so many men instinctively tell you don't get married? Don't get into a relationship in the West. But they don't do that overseas. Because they know that you're getting quality in a quality environment. Period. And not only quality, you won't be taken to court. You will not have to pay like over here. And that's why you cling to she's the one, not my girl. Because you know you made the wrong choice. You know and you cannot let your little fragile ego deal with the fact that she's got tons of guy friends, that she's got tons of guys in her DMs, that she is talking to a ton of other men and advertising herself as single. And then of course, you come back and say, oh, well, I'm secure. You double down on your rationalization. You double down on weakness. And I see it in your behavior. And it's sad. Because these guys are the weakest of the weak. They're real hard on other men. And they take, they lash out at other men. And yet they couldn't even... Put, the, put one rule in front of their little chickadee. They can't do it. That's why I don't respect these gentlemen. That's why I steer clear of them, and I suggest you guys do too as well. If you have a simp friend who talks like this, it's best to keep him out of your life. And I know there's conflicting thoughts on this one. But the reason for this is because, gentlemen, you either become them or they become you. And they're probably not going to become you. You got to let them go. We've all made these mistakes. We've all done this in the West. Because we had to learn the hard way. But you don't have to learn the hard way, son. To all my young guys out there, you don't have to learn the hard way. You don't need to take the lumps you don't need to take that pain. Because if your girl was really the one, then how come she didn't settle down before you, son? How come she's over the hill? How come she has tattoos? How come if she's a virgin, she's still talking to other guys? How come she's got guy friends? Well, my girl isn't like any of them. You're living in a fantasy world, son. Does she have a cell? Does she have a smartphone? Yes, she does. What does she do on that smartphone all day? I see literally guys like this, so in denial. Their girl will be sitting right next to them, strolling, talking to other dudes, right in front of them. That's how in denial these guys are. This is how guys cope: denial, and rationalization. The irony is the vast majority of men in the West have said no. The vast majority of men in the West have walked away. The vast majority of men in the West are over it. They have no relationships. They're not interested in hooking up. And they're not interested in any type of romantic relationship. And they're going to be the ones that are saved. And safe. So, best bet is to what? If I do want to settle down, what do I do? Gentlemen, you get your action plan going. You set up all your goals. You set up all your dreams. And then you execute on them. And then you live your dreams. And then after that, your supposed conservative woman who wants to settle down and be with you is going to materialize. 
out of the blue. Because you have put in the work. You, gentlemen, with your girlfriend, she's the one, want to take shortcuts. You want to be in the front of the line. You feel entitled to this. You will not get it, son. You want to know why? Because you haven't paid your dues yet. I just jumped over a big part. You haven't paid your dues, son. And you're going to pay. Whether you like it or not. You're going to pay on the front end or the back end. The good news is, to all my guys who are sacrificing, who are on their purpose, who have forgone all the skipping to the head of the line, to having a girlfriend before the age of five, to not getting married before the age of 35, not having a girlfriend, you guys are in the driver's seat. Those of you who are pursuing your purpose, your hobbies, and learning how to be who you want to be, your conservative woman is waiting right around the corner. No, you will not be able to make a relationship out of a liberal woman because that does not exist. 99.9% .9 of all relationships in the West fail. What a surprise. But overseas, difficult. So be prepared to take your lumps, my little simps, my little angry. I got a unicorn, brother. I take my protein and then I shove it in my mouth. Dry breath, because I'm so alpha breath. Mr. Alpha, Mr. Fake Wannabe Alpha Queen, I know you. I've met you, I've seen you. The weakest of the weak. Mr. Posture, Mr. Overcompensate, ouch. Just got hit by the attack, ouch. Mr. Posture. Sorry, son. Not happening. But enjoy. Have fun being confused. Have fun being delusional. Donkey punch the like button. Figure the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this mother effing video. Let those gentlemen make their mistakes to all my legionnaires. Let them make mistakes. Let them come crawling back. Oh, you girl. She broke my heart, bro. She broke my heart. She took my money, bro. What do I do? What do I do? Well, you're going to pay your dues, son. You're going to have to take those lumps for a while, and then uh, once you come full circle, and maybe we feel like helping you out, then we will. Until then, who wears the pants in your relationship? Oh, bro. She goes, bro. I'm not as alpha as I thought of this. Wait a bro. Wait a wait, 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 wait. Ah, until next time, gentlemen definitely watching you so let's get to it oh yeah